In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death, our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
atonement for our sins, and those of the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Passion. Have mercy 
Good morning. Welcome to Divine Mercy Sunday at St. Mary's Church, New Albany, Indiana. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ rose from the tomb and will never die again. This Mass is being offered with love for Will Block. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. In today's gospel, the disciples gather on the first day of the week, that Sunday, because this was the day that Jesus rose from the dead. So now they observe the third commandment of of keeping holy the Lord's day, not on Saturday, the Sabbath, as previously, but now the day that the Lord consecrated by his resurrection from the dead. And we are together this morning in honor of Jesus Christ. We're here not because of friends and family, but we're here because of our faith in Jesus who rose from the dead and change history because of that. Lord our God, you made water an instrument of your mercy, for through water you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water the prophets proclaimed the new covenant that you were about to enter upon with the human race. And last of all, through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in baptism. May this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received through Christ our Lord.
Mayo Medigad. Mayo Medigad cleanses of our sins and through the celebration of this Eucharist, make us worthy to share at the table of his kingdom. Amen? Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast, you kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace that you have bestowed, that all of us may grasp and rightly understand in what font we have been washed, by whose spirit we have been reborn, by whose blood we have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and one mind, that no one claimed that they had any of his possessions was on his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his mercy and Let the house of Israel sing His mercy endures forever. The Lord's right hand has struck with power. The Lord's right hand is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the word. Of the Lord. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Give thanks. Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written on, in this book. But these are written that you 
may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We Catholic Christians strongly believe things that other people find incredible. We believe that God Almighty became one of us. How did he do that? We believe that he came down from heaven out of love, and he was always full of mercy. He had a heart especially for those who are suffering. We believe that Jesus Christ not only taught that we should all get along together, but he taught about his heavenly Father. And he taught that at the end of this life, life does not end, but we go to heaven or hell. And he wanted us all to go to heaven. What a huge, merciful heart he has for us. He was not only a wise teacher, but he healed and he even raised people from the dead. We believe that he died for you and me. And after three days, that he came back different and more full of life than ever. In today's gospel, all of a sudden, they're, they're, they got the doors all locked up. And they, they're afraid that they're afraid that people are going to come after them like they came after Jesus. And so they get everything all locked up solid, they think. And all of a sudden, he appears in the middle, right in, right in the middle of them. And he does the same thing eight, eight days later on, a week later. You know, it's understandable if people find all that we believe hard to believe. And they do it in good company, don't they? Today we hear about Thomas. Thomas, who found it so hard to believe, he says, I know you guys are goofy. When they told him about when Jesus came on, on Easter Sunday and he appeared in the midst of them, he says, I will not believe unless I see it with my own eyes and I put my finger into the nail marks and my hand into his side. You guys. But you know what? He didn't leave them, didn't he? Even though he couldn't agree with them and he said, no, you guys are goofy. He didn't leave them. They're his friends. They're the people that Jesus brought together. He hung right in there with them, didn't he? And he was there the next Sunday when Jesus comes again. One week later, today, as a matter of fact, they were all there, including Thomas, gathered together in that upper room. And even though the doors were locked, Jesus suddenly appears amongst them. And after he greets them all with peace, I bet that, that peace was so precious to them because they had let him down really bad, hadn't they? They had let him really down really bad on Good Friday. And he says, peace be with you. Wouldn't it be great if the people that we let down, if they say, peace be with you, <laughs> or say something like that, or if we could say that to people who've let us down. He says, peace be with you. And he doesn't even mention the way they messed up the way they let him down. He doesn't even mention it, not the least mention. And he invites, then he invites Thomas, not just to look, but to touch the wounds in his hands and his side. And he says, do not doubt any longer, but believe. It's really important to him that Thomas believe. 
and Thomas doesn't have to touch those wounds, but he believes, and he says, my Lord and my God. Now, how about that? How about that for faith? He doesn't even touch, but he knows. He says, my Lord and my God. It's one of the most powerful acknowledgments of Jesus' real identity in the whole Gospels. And it's the only time that somebody directly calls him God. From the one who was the unbeliever. So if we have doubts, if we have other people around us who have doubts, we don't give up, do we? Jesus didn't give up. And Thomas turned about, turned around to be the one who affirmed him strongest of everybody else. Of everybody. We Roman Catholics, we believe that at the Last Supper, Jesus changed bread and wine into his own body and blood. We don't know how he did it, but he says, this is my body. This is my blood. And not only that, we believe that every time that we gather for the Supper of the Lord, that he continues to change bread and wine into his body and blood. It's for that reason that so many of us express our faith in the words of Thomas when we had the consecration of the bread. We say, my Lord and my God. And when we had the consecration of the wine and it becomes his blood, we say, my Lord and my God because we know that we're not in the presence just of bread and wine. We know that just as at Last Supper, we are in the presence of God himself, who has come to us to give us, to give us nourishment and strength, because he knows that life is tough for everybody. It's so important that we have close to us to this come, our Lord and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead in his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We entrust our lives and those, the lives of those we love and the whole world to the mercy of God. We will respond, respond to our petition saying, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, 
our own bishop, all priests, and all the faithful, that each of them give witness to the love and mercy of the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For those who serve the public, that they govern with compassion for the vulnerable, especially the unborn, elders, disabled, and those most affected by these difficult times. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For all those who have committed a serious sin, that they may be able to receive the sacrament of reconciliation and confession, so that God's mercy may descend upon them, and may they be at peace. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For all priests, that during these difficult times, they always trust in Jesus and teach their children about his love and mercy. For all parents, I'm sorry. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. As Jesus inspired people through the apparitions at Fatima, may he inspire us to also trust in him at every moment. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For those who have died, that they are able to hug the Lord and enter his kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Father, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings of your people and of those you have brought to new birth in this Easter, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Who is on in the highest? Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who is on in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, my Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We join together with Jesus in the prayer of the sons and daughters of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, we pray, O Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. From the distance, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We know that there's still brothers and sisters who don't feel comfortable coming back to church. Maybe they haven't been vaccinated yet. And so we say for them and with them the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that our reception of this Easter sacrament may continue to bless our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. A few announcements. We are going to continue using face masks, social distancing, and sanitizing after every Mass. But if you and your friends and family have been completely vaccinated, you may share the same pew if you're comfortable with that. On Tuesday, April the 13th, we invite all the men of the parish to join the men's club meeting at 7 p.m. in the St. Gabriel Room in the Pastoral Center. Please use the angel door to enter. Also on Tuesday at 7 o'clock, there will be a liturgy committee meeting on Zoom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty, would you please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you this Easter time and in his mercy defend you from all evil. Amen. Amen. May he who promises you eternal life and the resurrection of his only begotten Son grant you immortality. Amen. Amen. May you, you who celebrate the feast of Easter come with Christ's help to those feasts which are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks for your patience. Please wait for the ushers to come around and help us so we're able to keep the distance. Have a good time.